So from your OPU, we will prepare we will prepare a dish with your surname and your file number on. As you can see here, we have an insemination dish. During your OPU, we will ask you to identify your surname on the screen. This confirms that we are putting your eggs into your dish. Our dishes are labeled with your surname and your file number on the bottom of the dish, as well as the lid of your dish. From then, we will perform an insemination. The sperm will be labelled with the male partner's surname and his file number. Then we will confirm that the surname that matches the sperm matches the surname on our insemination dish. Thus, we will use this sperm with these eggs to do our insemination. Thereafter, after fertilization has been confirmed, the eggs will be removed from our insemination dish and will be placed into a culture dish. This dish is labelled as well with your surname and your file number and each droplet is labelled. These one egg will be placed in each droplet to make a tracking system so that we know how each egg is developing individually. So in preparation for freezing your embryos, we will begin by writing out your devices which each embryo will be frozen on. When we write out these devices, we use critical information to identify that these are your embryos. This includes the embryo number, your surname, your name, your um, vital lab file number, the date the embryos were frozen on, and then again the number of your embryo. So let me show you an example. So when we store a patient, we will allocate them a DUA space. For this example, we have chosen DUA 29, canister 1, cane 1, top location. So we'll come to DUA 29, we'll take out canister 1. We will then take out K1 that has been labelled. Then we will take your device and as quick as possible place it in the cane seal the cane, place it back into the canister and then it is stored. So all of our gametes and embryos are stored in liquid nitrogen which is in these tanks and this eliminates the need for electricity um, when freezing your embryos to ensure that we have a stable environment for your embryos at all times.